Next two months will decide the war in Ukraine. The main problem is the direction of Kharkiv. The advance of Russian troops along the front line and constant missile strikes on Ukraine's energy infrastructure are preparations for something more, experts believe. Ukraine is now experiencing an acute shortage of ammunition and manpower to cover all 1,200 kilometers of the front line, Bloomberg writes. If the situation does not change, the front line may fall and the Russian army will begin to advance deep into the country, which is why the next two months will be the hardest for Ukraine. The residents of Kharkiv suffer the most. At the same time, the Kremlin really hopes for the depressed psychological state of the city's residents. Allegedly, they can simply leave Kharkiv on the eve of a major offensive. At the same time, most military experts believe it will be difficult for the Russian army to capture the city. In 2024 alone, the Russian Federation can receive up to 6 million shells, both through foreign supplies and through its own production. On the one hand, a number of American politicians believe that the front line will not fall so fast. But another agrees that the morale of Ukrainians is severely undermined. Now more than ever, Ukraine is vulnerable to missile strikes by the Russian Federation. The enemy intensified along the entire front line, and target number one was the capture of Chasiv Yar. Colonel Iro Rebo, the head of the General Staff of the Defense Forces of Estonia, has stated that Russia continues conducting active combat actions in Ukraine despite significant losses, while the Ukrainian troops experience fatigue and lack of ammunition. Rebo indicated that the army forces of Russia conduct mechanized attacks by units to the battalion level, trying to benefit from the positive weather change and local landscape. Despite the losses, the Russian Federation has kept up the pace of advance and maintains the initiative in the combat zone, Rebo stated. He added that Ukraine's main problem is that it has not received the expected large Western ammunition supplies and the troops experience fatigue more and more. Yet, as of now, there are no signs that unplanned withdrawal of forces occurs in Ukraine or that any of the Ukrainian units refuse to fight, Rebo said. A rocket attack has been launched on Ukraine's occupied city of Luhansk, local telegram channels reported. An explosion occurred on the territory of the machine-building plant where the armored vehicles of the occupying Russian army were stationed as a result of the strike from Storm Shadow slash Scalp missiles provided as a military aid from the United Kingdom. One of the rockets reportedly landed in the area of the bus station. Overall, the city was hit by three missiles. There have been no reports about casualties and the destroyed military equipment.